G'day Explorers! The best part about science is that it's full of exciting stories. This channel, Astrobiological, is about some of those stories, the stories of life. I say stories because places other than Earth may have stories to tell as well. And now, we've already visited Europa once or twice, and we've explored water in the solar system, but what other stories are there? What about this little moon here orbiting Saturn? Let's see what stories Titan may have to tell. The story of life is also the story of water. Water is the medium within which all biological processes take place. All metabolic activity within all life on Earth happens with the help of water. No ifs, no buts. So is Titan special because it has water, right? Well, yes it does, but Titan is actually special for a couple of other reasons. First off, what is Titan like? It's pretty harsh. It's a frozen wasteland strewn with boulders and gravel made of ice. This fuzzy image taken by the Huygens lander in 2005 is the only picture we have from the surface of a world in the outer solar system. It looks like a big dead mud patch, doesn't it? The temperature in Titan is a lethal minus 179 degrees Celsius. And the atmosphere is a toxic mix, mostly nitrogen with a dash of methane. Nothing we know can live there. So let's take a look around then and get to know Titan a little better. Here it is from space. It almost sat in. From all the way out here it looks peaceful. Beautiful even. It's large for a moon, larger than our own moon. Only Ganymede exceeds Titan as your largest moon in the solar system. There's something not quite right about this view of Titan though. Do you know what it is? Let's get closer. Titan has an atmosphere. Yes, yeah, an actual atmosphere. Plenty of planets have atmospheres. The Titan looks a little bit like Venus here. But Titan is unique because it's the only moon in the solar system with a substantial atmosphere. Its atmosphere is actually thicker than the atmosphere we have here on Earth. Clouds even. Let's see through those clouds and get even closer. It looks a bit like Earth. In fact, many astrobiologists believe our planet may have been something like this before life appeared. That's why many scientists want to study it. it Maybe like traveling through time to ancient Earth. That's pretty cool, huh? That atmosphere is a thick haze, something like smog, full of organic compounds and other materials which may be used by natives if they exist. That's all but Titan. Want to see the sun rise in space? So there, lakes, seas. Yes, believe it or not, this little moon has seas. There's clouds and weather like Earth. It even has rain. Imagine standing on the surface of one of those lakes, seeing the sunrise, or seeing Saturn rise. Here's a Titan becomes exotic though. Those seas, lakes, and rain aren't composed of water. They're liquid methane. The same thing cows and sheep produce when they fart. You too, for that matter. Now, let's move on. The extremely, extremely cold, plus that thick atmosphere, causes methane, which is usually a gas, to remain in a stable liquid phase. Much of the conditions on Earth allow water to be liquid at room temperature. That one little property of water really is a huge deal for life here. So Titan has acid biologists wondering, could something in Titan take advantage of the properties of liquid methane in a similar manner? When we look at Titan, is something looking back at us? Who knows what's on those seas? So let's go for one final journey across this incredible place and allow ourselves to wonder.
There are plenty of great Slycom channels out there. I'm lucky enough to be part of the We Create EDU group on Slack.com. Channels like Socratica, the Science Asylum, and Up and Adam are just some of the great science channels I've met. Support these channels, and especially Up and Adam, another Australian. There aren't enough Aussies making a mark on YouTube. Let's change that. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Astrobiological, and I'll see you next time.